Hi everyone, welcome to TechCater. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a new experiment that allows users to update their Firebase email from WordPress. But first, I need to log in. So, make sure that you have the latest version of the plugins before you try out this one. So, if you check the Firebase dashboard, So that the version that you are using is version 19 and the important thing is you need to reinstall cloud function okay so the cloud function can be found when you go to uh, my website and then my account so after you download the plugin you unzip it there is a file name Firebase WordPress function and then you follow the instruction to deploy cloud function. Okay. There is a video here to help you to deploy it. So this is the requirement step. You need to redeploy it in order for this feature to work. Okay. So in the new update, you can see that there is another tab named experiment. The only feature now is allow update email from WordPress. If you don't check it, user will not able to update it. Um, you need to check it first, okay? And then you save it. I'm gonna try with the, the first, um, like, sample users. So for example, this users test has this Firebase UID, and under Firestore, it also have some data under it. Then let's try it out. Yeah, remember to check this box for this feature to work. And because this is an experiment, be careful to use its own production. Okay, try it on your local or station first before this one finally release. Okay, I'm gonna log out first. I'm gonna try to log in with this test users. And then I'm gonna sign in. I'm signing in and then I'm gonna check my account. See? After that, I'm gonna edit your password and account detail. So, because you check this experiment, so the email field is shown here. So, if I update the email, let's, let's try it out. So, at the number two, update it. And then let's save it okay so it's done and you can check inside the fire store the email is updated under the wordpress users and if i find this under the authentication i might refresh it the user is no longer there but if i find using the fiber uid you will find a new email being updated. Okay. Yeah, and the user been logged out after they change the user, so you need to uh re log in with the new email. Okay. So after update my email, I'm able to log in with the new email. You see here. Test. Yeah. So this is an experiment. Um, you can check it out, test it, and if there is any issues, please let me know. Just send me an email, okay? So, see you in the next video. Bye.